Malaji Srimulanathan is Principal Consultant on Security with Market Analyst Frost & Sullivan. Malaji, you're speaking at the Global Security Summit in October. Why have you chosen to be part of the education program at the event? We at Frost & Sullivan believe that the Global Security Summit um, is, is an extremely unique opportunity uh, for end users and the industry to come together and discuss strategic security issues and uh, potentially share best practices around um, how to address challenges in today's day-to-day -day operational um, issues around security. What's the central focus of your own presentation, Balaji, and why? The core focus of my presentation would be around integration and interoperability and the um, impact of convergence on organizations, the benefits of convergence, and also the pitfalls. Whilst integration and interoperability are terms that are commonly confused by the um, end users and the industry, it's important that um, I will be defining these terms and also uh, doing a critical appraisal of the, of the benefits and the efficiencies achieved through integration and interoperability. Whilst doing this, um, I would also look at the impact on business functions um, of, of integration, um, whilst also critically appraising the pitfalls and dangers of um, integration. While seamless integration can be a boom for businesses, um, it, is also, um, it also exposes businesses to vulnerabilities um, as seamless integration would also allow vulnerabilities to travel through the system without uh, being recognized. What sort of individual traits do you feel, Balaji, should characterize the security manager of tomorrow? Today's organizations are becoming extremely agile, global, competitive, and risk averse at the same time. Security managers of today and in the foreseeable future should be able to um, adopt themselves to um, address day-to-day -day operational requirements whilst getting a strategic focus on corporate um, security issues. Um, security managers can achieve this only if they are informed of the day-to-day -day risks and vulnerabilities that their businesses face whilst um, being um, aware of the technologies available to mitigate these risks. Moreover, at a characteristic level, security managers should be able to influence the working process of an organization to make sure security is inherent in the process so that uh, companies can achieve the best out of any solutions that they deploy. In what ways do you feel the economic conditions prevailing just now in the UK and needed further afield are affecting the security sector? Economic conditions have had certainly a um, huge impact on new system procurement, not only in the UK, but also around the globe. But nevertheless, they've also shifted the focus towards integrating um, existing security systems and finding efficiencies through that. Um, whilst the economic impact has had a massive impact um, in the mature markets in terms of new system procurement, there are several um, new um, markets and emerging markets where security system and hardware uh, procurement still continues to be strong and um, the evolution of um, IP based technologies and the penetration of IP in um, several emerging markets will continue um, to keep the security sector buoyant. Now, are there any central themes you can see on the horizon to be tackled by the security world in say 2013 and beyond? There are several central themes that we can think about. Today we are seeing the convergence of um, physical and IT security and uh, we're seeing that this will be a critical focus um, not only in the UK but also um, in several other countries around the world uh, and this will be a key theme that the industry and end users will be addressing in the next few years. Um, there are also themes around big data management and the use of analytics and data mining te technologies to, to uh, better enable crime prevention and enforce security. Um, there are also other themes uh, which we can think about such as um, the need for obsolescence management and also uh, the shift towards providing security as a service. Um, to, to better um, enable industry suppliers to um, provide service, security services to organizations. Thank you very much indeed, Balaji. Thank you.